Welcome back. I'm Kusu Chong and with Weilin Tang and Charlotte Chong. It's time for the stock of the day. It's Surya Capital Baha, the uh, Sabah based port operator. Surya, yes, Surya Capital Baha is actually a Sabah based port operator and they also do property development as well. They are partnering with these two companies called Gabunga Acres, AQRS, and another company called SBC Corp Berhad. They're developing this uh, mixed development in Sabah called Jasotan Key, which worth about 2.9 billion ringgit. What is interesting is, is in June, the company actually said that they expect the port business to slow down this year uh, because of sluggish economy outlook, but um, foresees its property development to thrive in the next two to three years. Insider Asia likes this stock. Insider actually has a different opinion on this company. They say that um, for the next two to three years, they will see continuing revenue coming from its port business. And Insider actually say the stock is trading at a trailing 12-month PE ratio of 4.8 times, which is not too high, 35% below book value of 3.36 ringgit per share. Surya has a minimum 35% dividend payout ratio and Decent yield of two, three point two percent. Do we buy this stock? Three point two percent. From a valuation standpoint, I think it looks. Uh, yeah, it's, it's I mean, low, four point eight times. The only thing yeah. is, are you, are you a port operator? Are you a property developer? What are you? Are you uh, you know, are you schizophrenic? Are you are you male or are you female? I mean, that's the problem. You see, I think so, why uh, companies good. are jumping into yeah. the same band, uh, bandwagon. They are diversifying their uh, the, the profile to property. It's good if it's executed well, though, because right now they actually have a mix. Times talking are about tough. recurring I mean, we, from we ports. We saw it today in the digital edge how Terence Wong of CIMB was actually. Uh, quoted in the, in the papers as, as, and questioning a lot of manufacturers who are moving into property development as a way to diversify income. It's okay if you get it right. And of course, SBC, you know, they're an all-time developer. They, they built Bank Nagara. I met one of the Sierra brothers, of course, recently. But the thing is, it is a high capital intensive business. I was, I was in KK recently. I saw what's happening there. Fantastic. I mean, you know, the price, the square foot values are just shooting through the roof. So I think I think this company has quite good prospect because it's actually backed by Sabah, Sabah government, 51.6% owned by Sabah government. So, so I, I think they, and I think Sabah is actually up and coming as well in terms of the uh, the property development. I was in Kekki recently. This place no? is booming. Booming. Yeah, booming. Wow. It's, uh, it's massive. The only thing is, I guess, whether or not um, trade through, the, through Sabah port is going to suffer because of the slowing, slowing economy, I don't know, right? But on the property front, they seem to, to be uh, firing on all cylinders. But net profit actually mm. seems quite good as well, increased by more than threefold from 30.9 billion million, now it's 103.9 million, threefold. Is there a gauge of a property launches uh, from Sura Capital that's Well, they upcoming. are just doing just certain key right just now. Just with, key, yeah. with the, How much would that be? Yeah, it's about 1.9 billion. Well, that's okay. all right, isn't it? So, yeah. one to watch as well. Sorry, about 2.9 billion in total. Yeah, so 1.8 is only a parcel out from the from the development. Okay.